PCB board used in this project is sponsored by the PCBA company, which is one of the most experienced PCB and PCB assembly manufacturer. They create high quality PCBs at reasonable prices. The Gerbo files of the PCB board used in this project can be downloaded from the PCBA official website. You can find a link in the description. In today's episode, you will learn how to make an IoT weighing scale using HX711 24-bit analog to digital converter, a 5kg load cell or strain gauge, Node MCU ASP8266 Wi-Fi module, Arduino, and a cell phone application designed in Blink. Later in this tutorial, I will explain why I'm using Arduino with the Node MCU ESP8266 Wi-Fi module. With this DIY low-cost IoT weighing scale, you can measure and monitor weights from anywhere around the world. For the demonstration purposes, I'm using some known weights 50 grams, 100 grams, 200 grams and 1 kg. This is my third video on the HX711 and load cell which explains how to use the Wi-Fi technology to make an IoT based weighing scale. While in my previous two tutorials I explained the basics like for example what is HX711, soldering, interfacing and the load cell or strain gauge calibration. I highly recommend you should watch my previous two tutorials and then you can resume from here. Because this episode is entirely based on my previous two tutorials. I will modify the previous program and I will also explain how to establish the serial communication between the Arduino and Node MCU ESP8266 module and then how to display the weight information on the 16 into 2 LCD widget. Without any further delay, let's get started. Components and tools used in this project can be purchased from Amazon. The components purchase links are given in the description. I salvaged this thing from an old scale. I'm going to replace this old load cell with a new one. While fixing the load cell, make sure the arrow head is in the downward direction. As you can see, the load cell is fixed and the arrow head points in the downward direction. As you can see the scale is ready. These are some known weights which I will be using during the demonstration. This is 50 grams, 100 grams, 200 grams and 1 kg. Now let's have a look at a complete connection diagram of the IoT weighing scale. The DC female power jig positive leg is connected with the input leg of the LM705 voltage regulator. The ground leg of the DC female power jig is connected with the middle leg of the 705 voltage regulator. The output leg of the voltage regulator is connected with the VN pin of the node MCU ESP8266 Wi-Fi module and the ground of the 5 volts regulator power supply is connected with the ground pin of the node MCU module. This 5 volts regulated power supply is used to power up the node MCU module. A 330 ohm resistor is connected in series with a 2.5 volt LED. This is a current limiting resistor. The purpose of this LED is to let you know that the power supply is turned on. Two 470 microfarad capacitors are connected at the input and output sides of the 
LM705 voltage regulator. The TX and RX pins of the node MCU module are connected with the Arduino pin number 7 and pin number 8. Make sure you connect the ground of the node MCU module with the ground of the Arduino. A load cell or strain gauge has four wires. The red wire of the load cell is connected with the E+. Black wire is connected with the E-. The white wire is connected with the A- and the green wire of the load cell or strain gauge is connected with the A plus of the HX711 breakout board. The HX711 is a 24-bit analog to digital converter ADC, which has an amplifier that gives a maximum gain of 128 A's for the data sheet. The ground of the HX711 is connected with the Arduino's ground. The DD pin of the HX711 is connected with the Arduino pin number 3. The SCK pin is connected with the Arduino pin number 2 and the VCC pin of the HX711 breakout board is connected with the Arduino's 5 volts. This is the PCB board designed for the Node MCU module. The PCB board designing and soldering is already explained in my previous tutorial. You can find a link in the description. All the components are interfaced as per the connections diagram already explained. The four wires coming from the load cell or strain gauge are connected with the HX711 board which is also connected with the Arduino. The Arduino is also connected with the node MCU ESP8266 Wi-Fi module. The Arduino communicates serially with the node MCU module. You can make this IT based weighing scale using only the Node MCU module, but the reason I have added the Arduino board is if in case you want to add an LCD or a keypad etc. To reduce the size you can also use Arduino Nano. Now let's make the Blink application. <music> In this project, two programs are used. One program is written for the Arduino, while the other program is written for the Node MCU ESP8266 Wi Fi module. All the libraries used in this project can be downloaded from our website. You can find a link in the description. First, let's start with the Arduino programming. This is basically the same program I used in my previous two tutorials. This time I made a few changes. I added the software serial and STD LIB libraries. Created a serial port for the node MCU ESP8266 Wi-Fi module. Defined some variables while the calibration factor value remains the same. In the white setup function I activated the serial communication while these instructions remain the same. In the while loop function, I added this function to convert the float value into the string value. Then I created a complete message and finally using the println function, the complete message is sent to the node MCU module and also to the serial monitor for the debugging purposes. Now let's have a look at the node MCU programming. These are the same libraries I've been using in all of my Node MCU based projects. Data to the LCD widget is sent through the virtual pen video. This is the authentication token which was sent via email. I simply copied and pasted it over here. This is the name of the Wi Fi router and this is the password. I defined some variables. The my timer event function is already explained in my previous IoT based projects. The white setup function remains the same. 
If the node MCU module has not received any data from the Arduino, simply keep executing the blink.run and timer.run functions. If the node MCU module has received data from the Arduino, then read the serial port. Add the received character with the mystring variable. This condition makes sure that the entire message is received. Then using the get value function, the string is split. And then finally, the weight information is sent to the Blink application. Get value is a user-defined function which is used to split the string message using any character as the delimiter. In my case, I have used a comma as the delimiter. So that's all about the programming. These programs can be downloaded from our website, electronicclinic.com. You can find a link in the description. I have already uploaded these programs. Let's watch this portion in action. Support me on Patreon for more videos. I hope you like today's episode. Like and share this video with your friends. See you in next episode and thanks for watching.